today we are just going to talk about one of my favorite color blending and how to make this cap let's show you how to do it i am going to make one cap which really just needs which for which we need this so let's start with this and we are just going to use the, this needle we need 52 stitches as but for one color we need only 26 stitches 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 now we're just going to use the, this 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's knit with this is this back row. The, even though we are just knitting it in front one, this is the back row. And in back row, what we really do this key we knit all the inchard row we just knit it So, when you really need this end of this black also, so I'm just going to pick one more from this pink color and make it a tight, bring it because this is our back side as I said, so front and then again knit it. Knit it. Because we are going to focus more on our slanted one, not to the pattern. So this is the region we are just picking up. Very simple, very simple and easy pattern. So, but we are just going to do this graphic work. It's a slanted one. And we are just also playing with the color. So when we are playing with the color, we just don't need very beautiful pattern only the one that really suits our color play now this is just going to be our front side so what we really do this from front side we need one we just pull one we need one we pull one some people really use the term sit stitch for this pattern Again, I say that we really want to focus on our color play and the slanted pattern. So, we're just going for the simple set stitch to suit our work. When you reach to the center of our cap, what we really do this, we just, this last neat we use this black we pick the back black color and we knit it and continue knitting like this we 
we are almost the end of our second row this is our second row and when we are in the end of the second row when we have only two stitches on our left hand needle we really add this red color wool and adding process is very simple and every time there must be the neat part not the pole part this time it will be three you know that it will just keep slowing on and make sure key we do this and now knit it with black color wool and from back side we only need it's simple from the back side every time when when we really into the black color bring the wool behind and then knit it again we are in the front front side of the scap so we need one ball one we what we really pick from this black is going to be neat part not this you know that pearl part unless we make a mistake at this in our front back side of knitting so even if you is if you keep this in mind so you can correct your mistake like i said before this when we really pick the last color of this black work from red it has to be neat not ball i really want you to keep this in your mind if you really do so we'll just make our cap very nice and beautiful now this at uh, this very point that our this cap look like looks like this and we have three stitches here so we just knit it until we just finish it the question is what we are going to do when we really have this pink color is gone from our needle normally it never goes off from this needle you know that we just keep adding The beauty of this cap is it's three blend of color which is it really seems is my favorite color and children really looks pretty beautiful in this cap right At this time you really can see the seed stitch you know that's beautifully which you really could not see in the beginning knitting back side is very easy you don't have to worry about this you know that one ball or once one knit it's all neat which is the easiest form of knitting
every time you, when you will really raise the last one we really need it bring it down and cross it and knit it we have when we have only one stitches here simply knit it and continue knitting it And there is only last stitches of every color we just knit it with other color and make sure that is only just we knit it not pull it if we really have to pull it remember something we have made a mistake in the previous row At this point you have only black and red in our, in our needle <coughs> so this is we really can clip it up from here because it's a end of this thing but we do not add it immediately until we have 26 row 26 stitches here 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 and 26 but here is we have 26 but if we really add two two here it will only be 24 and 8 so we we'll just make sure that there is 28 and then we'll just add this pink color from this side let's let's show you how to do it this is the first row we are knitting only with two color instead of our three color of slanted pattern on this cap and from back side and front and back we always first row from back side first row from front side last row we need it with a different color at this point you have 24 in black and 28 in red so because that we are just going to allow 26 for this red color and when which is two only two stitches left we will just change the color of this one let's let's do it When we are at the center of it and the front front of this row, always last color of this black will just knit it with red. And but when we are just at the back, we need the last first one with this different color. now we have only two color left so let's change the color of wool to change the color of wool you can count it here you know that let's count it two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two 24 and 26 we always maintain the 26 year before we just move our rows not less than that so let's continue knitting like this suddenly 2 becomes 3 and 3 becomes 5 becomes 
15 and a half inch when you have yarn tail like this i tell you how to hide it when you are just knitting it you knit it at the end of this you do this you just press it with this going out and you cross it with this so at the end of you know that from back side at the end of first row from other color we just knit it just bring it behind and we just knit it like this And the front side of it you really you really cannot see any joints of it you'll see look at this any joint from here and there but on the back side of it you really can see this joint you know that i regard this as ain't wax this join joining and this joining there is nothing on this front side we just keep knitting it from front side one knit one pull from sub front side last one we pick it with this behind the car what is behind we just do this from first stitch from the back last stitch from the front this one is the last one so we just knit it with the pink color We just need, keep knitting like this until this our length becomes 15 and a half we just continue knitting like this now if we really take the measurement of this one we are at this point of you know that almost it's seven and a half we need it we need to knead it until that your, our size become 15 and a half so you must be wondering about what should be this side length of a cap anything above 8 inches better so we have 9 inch 52 stitches making it 9 inch it's a perfect for our cap now the color black is just out from our needle so every time one color goes out we add it from this side the same color which really goes out but the rule is that there must be 28 stitches here before we really add another color because normally we really just need two two stitches here so 26 has to be for this pink color has to be 26 in it so if we really count it two four six eight 10 12 13 14 16 18 20 22 24 and 26 so that is the rule of sister you know that adding another color from here and also 
the one that really goes out from here comes in from this side of it and we just keep knitting it you can just make a knot of it but more than that you should just try this method also and at some point you will just make a knot of it also from back side always the first first stitch we really make from this and in the front side always the last stitch moving from another side just continue knitting now the red is going out so we are just going to add red going out from this right side so we're going to add red from this left side you know that one two three four five as we have five uh, rows slanted on it now whatever the red color we are just going to add it is going to be our last color on this cap now our cap is almost 14 inches this means we just have to knit it only one inch only one one 14 and a half it is so because the red is going out we are just going to add red from this corner this is the row that we really add this red color from this left corner of our needle and because that we really don't have much row only couple of rows too so we are just going to always clip it from here and add the same row same wool at this size side So let's do a couple of let's knit a couple of rows. You can tie this also. There's nothing hard and fast rule about what you really should do with this yarn tails. But I tie also and I just try to hide it as I just need as I really go above. By now we are very clear that every time the first from the back side we pick up the first from <coughs> this color and then again knit it with this same color yarn. <coughs> Sorry. Ready. For stronger cap in the future also so it won't just give up we better just tie this now I normally just try this at so this five or six you know that when there there is five or seven so and uh, this is you know that it's going to be only few stitches here of red so I'm just going to do this only when there is this is our last row our last line we just can see this you know
you must renew it. This is a seed stitch. We call this a side we knitting a cap. We call this a it's a slanted pattern, but at the same time this is sideways knitting of a cap. You must have see, found this in my book. Let's knit cap. There are three ways of knitting a cap, and this is one of it. But I have to tell you, this is my comfort zone of knitting a cap. Now, when you really have this knitted, our last row, what we do, really, this is the front side, right? So, we do this, we just fold it like this. And this becomes our back side. And what we really do this is join it. We pick it up from here. We pick this one. And we just knit it pick this up one row pick this up and we just knit it sometimes what I really do this I also do this you know that this yarn tail from the beginning which we really formed as we casted it excess yarn of that It will be double color, but it will be stronger also. I just have to think of both sides. Stronger and now we are at this point that when you know that we have black we just should be just starting this with black one pick it black and you know that now we just have to ditch this red one It's not easy to see this black one, right? But if there is other color, you will just not have this much problem of seeing it. I'll show you. You will just get a chance to see it once. We'll just do the pink color. Cast off. When you are at this side, we'll just use this. We still use this black color yarn black color and even if we are picking this pink one we still use black color wool to cast off yes for stronger one we can use this pink one we can alternate it as pink sometimes one once pink it's a one black for the stronger version of it now you don't have to do it if you really don't want to and we are just going to use this black color yarn until at this point onwards 
now when we really have this pink color so let's say change this with pink one and pick it pink Clip this one and okay. This is me. You you may have other way of hiding your yarns, right? This is my way of making it stronger and at the same time hiding as I really just go up. Sometimes counting helps two, four, and one, two, three, four. We have exact number on both sides. As usual, we just do this from here. We just pull it. Now, what we really do this is bring it, and now our cap is ready. All we really have to do this is join it here, stitch it. Let's do that also. Normally, what I do this is when I really have to join it, I just have to calculate this. How long will I just have to chop it? Okay, from here until now that i'm just going here so i'm just going to make it so that this much is enough for me so let's pick one needle for us let me go with this one i prefer the longer one rather than certain for search version of it and picking up this you know that here is very easy all we really have to do is pick this knots pick this knots you know that what you just can see this knots let's pick it up pick it up It's e one of the easiest part of this is joining, picking this knots up. You know that you can see it. You know that sit stitch, stitch has this facility. You know that it makes your joining process or sewing process a lot easier. Now we have made a hole round here. Okay, so one is not sufficient. Let's do this two more round. From so for this that we really pick the same one, but just double 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 making, making sure it double. So that that it will just give us the lifelong, lasting at least as as long as this we wear it, it is just going to serve its purpose. This is the last round of so once we are here we know this key 
this is also pink color but join is here you will know this nowadays what I really do this is do this and do it one more time at this joining joining of it go it inside of it just do this and here what we really just do this key hide it hide our yarn as far as you really can go at least in this pink is very few row right mm. our cap is ready look we are almost done with our cap but some finishing work is there so these are the color we really change it this color which really is added in this process of making cap so it's a safe side if you really just tie the knot off here and it's a double double safe if we really tie this knot here all we do this is clip it it's also we really hide it yarn tails all our antels and our caps is ready look some people prefer this side of this cap some people like this the sit stitch this side of this cap you know that it's like some it's a, different people have different tests but this is this three are my favorite color when i really just go for this slanted cap you see now my cap is ready this is one of my favorite especially for its color I love it. If you want to get more ideas just like this, users can buy my book Let's Knit Cap, which is available in Google Book. And so, link of this book is given in the description down below. Hello, everyone. If you like my video, please comment below and. If this is your this is your first time watching my videos then subscribe thank you